job. Mahindra, Sri Lanka Premier League. Hello everyone and welcome to the Mahindra Sri Lanka Premier League Match 17. Baz Nahira Cricket Dundee versus the Rahuna Royals coming to you live from Premadasa Oval here in sunny Colombo. Everything's in readiness here. Good crowds just starting to come in now for a big match here where, well, one particular team, Baz Nahira, they, oh, Rahuna Royals, sorry, if they don't win this match here, it's curtains for them. Baz Nahira, unfortunately, haven't had a great tournament but Evanik is in the hands of Rahuna Royals to win this match. Well, it might be time to find out who's going to win the toss. Let's go down to Rummy's Roger and Russell Arnold. It's a windy, peaceful day here in Colombo, which is good to know. And I've got Russell Arnold here to do the pitch report. Russell, your initial thoughts. Well, it looks a good one. Uh, it's the same pitch that we played yesterday, and yesterday there was a lot more moisture on it. Mm. Uh, did a lot, uh, it did spin, but yet we saw some good shots being hit too. Mm. But today, I think it, it'll be less, uh, but the challenge for the batsman will be to deal with the slowness of this. So you're going to have to work your way in. Worried about the cracks here? Certainly not. Uh, cracks in uh, our part of the world, yes, is uh, never an issue. It's only if it starts crumbling. All right, okay. Uh, more from Russell Allen. Now, time to go across and talk to our two captains. Uh, how are gents? All great. Who's got the coin now? Right, okay. They, they, huh? want, to they want to call. They want to go first. <laughs> first. <laughs> so it's decided, is it? Let's go. Heads is the call. Tails it is. Tails, Tails it has come down. Yeah. I'm going to bat first. How does it appear? Uh, it's a good wicket, I think. Uh, we saw yesterday it did a little bit of moisture, but today is perfect. It's dry up. I think it's uh, good uh, to win your bat first and put runs in the board. Disappointed with the outcome of the results so far? Yeah, definitely it's disappointing uh, where the, Dundee, the, the result didn't come way our way. But uh, we have to finish strongly. Uh, at least uh, we can go through our uh, winning last win. What about the changes? Any changes? Yeah, yeah. Langefeld come back to the side and uh, we give some, some uh, Ishara to uh, play today, give some opportunity to the, the youngsters to play and prove them uh, how they are ready for this kind of uh, tournament. All right, all the best. Thank you. Thanks, Ramiz. Well, uh, Lasit Malinga, your thoughts on the pitch and how much you'd like to restrict the Basnahira cricket done these two? Yeah, I think it's a look like a good wicket. This is only use one match. Uh, I think uh, I need to bowl first and uh, check the minimum runs. Maybe 140 is the target. Uh, I think I'll try to do that. We can strike the 140. Looking at the tournament itself, you still have an outside chance, though. Yeah, I think we, we need to definitely win another two games, but I think not, didn't think about that, but I think about this, all of this game. We have to put 100% and try to win this game. What about your team? Any changes? Yeah, we got one change in the Tarang Lasit not playing. Inside, uh, Charlie Kanona is coming in. Well, good luck, Lasit. Thank you very much. So the news from the centre out here is that Basna Hira Cricket Dundee have won the toss and elected to bat first. Thanks very much, Ramiz, Dean Jones and Tiffy. Jeffrey Dujon here with you, and as you can see, the two teams there. And uh, how do you feel that where these two teams will go, Jeff? Well, as you said, it's going to be all up to Rahuna. All up to Basnahira to decide their fate. But uh, Rahuna, strong bowling team, I think. And uh, they're going to have their hands full with a Basna Hero lineup that's got some strong batting and right up Dimuth Karuna Ratney healthy strike rate already got a half century this level it's gonna open up with his captain Tilakaratni Dilshan and there's no question that he is class That's it, Malinga, the captain of the Rahuna Royals to start, and it, here we go. Oh, right on the money, straight up. Well, let's have a look at the points. Rahuna Royals, they're 
playing their fifth game today have an outside chance if they win their next two games and Naganahira stumble of getting into that final four but it's going to be very tough and net run rate may eventually decide it if it goes that way good one and length the average winning score on this ground has been 148 no difference last night where uh, just a ripper of a match last night Wamba just missing out unfortunately some of the crowd that's in here today it's good fun you get a chance to, to come on down there's a few little prizes that we'll talk to you a little bit later on the telecast but every chance to win a Mahindra scooter I've never been on a, a scooter before. Been on a Grand Prix 500cc bike on the back of Randy Mamola's bike, right in the Living Daylights out of me. Big single there, they make them easy. The first couple of deliveries we've seen with this new ball really bears out what I, I thought was a very impressive assessment of this pitch by Russell Arnold. That it's dry, it's going to be slow, it'll probably turn and that the best time to utilize it is early on and to bat first which is exactly what Tiller Karatni Dil Dilshan decided to do drop little drop kick over mid on his chance to get under it he doesn't get two well this was Rambo Quella trying to chase it down and he really didn't let down the emergency break on that one you almost almost had the fred, Flint, fred flintstone feet there could have kept going at all mind you it's a bit hard this ground's still pretty wet over the last two days have had almost up to three inches of rain it's a bit soft out there bouncer good not that had a bit of zip on it Had to hit it down short, but really true bounce. And pace more from Malinga's effort than anything else. It's a dry surface, you can see the cracks in it. Had some blazing sun today. Today has probably been the hottest day we've had for a long time. And that's really dried the surface out. It's not going to be a lot of pace in it, and look for it maybe to get a little bit powdery on top earlier later on and there'll be some spin swing and a miss a good over indeed for the Royals it's four for no loss no loss here and there's you can see Basna here with their strike rates for an honor at 115 not quite good enough Dilshan well that's the numbers you want 122 Russell 129 you want all your, your top four or top five batters to be over 120 Mama Dwella, he's a lot better than that 105 and then we go into the bowlers but probably if any the weakness for Basna here is their batters haven't quite got decent enough strike rates and that's Maybe the reason why they're struggling in this particular tournament. Why have Riaz? That's a no ball. First ball as the norm. Well, he's continued to do this. This is not the first time, it's not the second time that Wahab Riaz has pulled a no ball. It's very first delivery and that was almost in the batsman's half way over we've got a free hit another no ball 
Well, of course, it happened only just recently where we had another bowler bolt three no balls in a row. And we've got two in a row here. Look how short that one was, dude. She's nearly hit that on the on the on the down there. <laughs> oh, that's shocking to Of course, now it's still a free hit. This is where I believe once they bowl two in a row, they should be allowed to have two free hits in a row, not just one. So we still got the a slip in. We've got to keep the same field. Be looking to go downtown, I dare say, over the bowler's head or over wide me on. That's the areas he likes to hit. And he'll get at least one. He'd be disappointed with that, Dilshan. He's having trouble with his spikes. He's having trouble with all sorts of things. Uh, this is a legal delivery. But look where he ends up. He was going to end up right in the danger area in any case. Came straight down the middle of the pitch. Edouard Briaz. Dilshan not quite getting hold of this one. It's the bottom half of the bat. Look where that foot lands. It's in line with middle stump. Should he get, should he get a warning there, do you think? If I was an umpire, I would give him a warning straight away. You're only allowed three warnings, and you're off. So that'll be one warning for me. I don't think the umpire's done that. That's better. You know, they could look at the spikes and all that, but, gee, you know, they've done all their warm-ups today. I, I find this just poor form from Riaz. Been rough enough around the traps to know what it's like to bowl on run-ups a little bit wet. Two no balls, that's just non-negotiable, uncalled for. Oh, well. Does hoik it through mid wicket. Lucky that hit it straight to a man. Bruna Ratne has been a bit disappointing too. He's had a lot of opportunities. Only got 67, high score 25. He'd be disappointed with this particular Mahindra Sri Lanka Premier League. Now the slip comes out. They're a bit worried about this pitch for me. Got two points in now. The fine leg's gone a bit fine up. I think Russell Larnell got this pitch right. It's quite dry now. Quite coming onto the bat as they would have liked. Slower ball. Drop kick. It should be out. It's given. He got his first wicket with a slow one. He finally gets it right. Wahab Riaz. A full delivery on the legs, slow. Karen Aratni looked as if he was falling over a bit. And just whips it into short, fine legs hands. Safely taken. And the Royals pick up their first wicket. Karen Aratni, only three. It's seven for one. Seven for one, the Basna hero lost an early wicket. Karuna Ratne is gone, and really Russell comes to the crease where good strike rate, 129.3, made a few runs, got a couple of 50s, or 350s in fact. Let's have a little look why the reason he's there. 
This was just a floated delivery. And the Corona Ratney really not getting hold of it. Falls over a bit and just manages to flick it to Nasir. So even though it hasn't been a special over for Wabrias, he's picked up a wicket. Very well fielded there behind point. He hit that right in the middle first up. Harris, the fieldsman. Yes, this had some jets on it. Best he could do was knock it down, Dan Harris. Leg by on the leg side. So that's the last ball there. Four runs from the over. It's eight for one. Besnahira, who started the tournament off very well, but they've lost four in a row, and that's sayonara from them. They need th at least three wins to get into the finals, and whether they win it here today or not will mean really nothing. But mind you, Rahuna needs to win today and win their next game. And if they want to have any chance of making it the final. So there's a bit on this game. Bowling change. Rambuk Vela. Loffy there. Looking for a quick single on the leg side and getting it. Now, I think Dilshan won't take any nonsense here. I think he might target this young man. Well, they need to get something going into the third over. It's only nine on the board. Wicket down. Got to make the best of this first six overs. Spinner is on, only two men allowed outside. Now is as good a time as any to just start to get things going. Good economy rate for Rambo Quella. Just over five and a half. I reckon he'd be looking to go straight. Yeah, yeah! Is it an inquiry? Hasn't been in the best of health in the last week or so, Tilakaratni Dilshan. Hasn't really looked himself since that first game when he, he got 64. Looked to be struggling a bit. Good single on the offside. Malinga, the fieldsman there. Okay, so it's been a bit of a quiet start here for Baznahira, but I think Dilshan's about to amp it up. He'll line this fella up looking to already showing signs he wants to sweep it, slog sweep it, or even maybe straight down the ground. It won't spin that much, you wouldn't think, with the new ball. There he goes, and just wide. I think it's jam shed there. And it's gone for four. Yeah, he won't take any nonsense today. This has been... He's been struggling a bit with his timing. Even this wasn't too well-timed, but just out of the hands, out of the reach of Jamshed. And I reckon he'll go after him again. Pulls it away and over the top again of Jan Shed. It's going away for four. He hasn't hit one in the middle yet, but when he does, I'll let you know. Well, Rambo Quella will think that he's really unlucky. It's been two deliveries now, hit within reach of the same man. 
just clearing him. He's gone for two boundaries that could so easily have gone to hand. Adelshan is trying to get something going, trying to create some excitement, trying to get some rhythm going, momentum for his team. And pokes the one to mid on. So that's a better over there for Basnihira. 12 runs from it, it's 20 for one. Better now, Basna here is starting to put the foot down. 20 for one after three overs. Oh, Wahab Arias. Single on the leg side. Just noticed there's been always a trend of the fieldsman dues to be outside the circle walking in. I, I just think very hard to govern for any umpires to work out if any player or fieldsman stays outside the circle before the ball's bowled. So I just believe that they should have all the fieldsmen inside the circle when the bowler is about to start his run. Should not be allowed at all at any stage to be outside the circle. Down the ground, he didn't quite get it. They haven't hit one in the middle of the bat, these two, but they got another boundary, the third for the innings. And this is a good shot. Muscled it. Didn't time it that well. He's a strong boy. Finds a gap, hits it straight. Four more. Things looking up now for Basnahira. Six after two. It's 25 now into the fourth. Finch, a backward point. A lot of countries around the world watching this Mahindra Sri Lankan Premier League just to see how the pitches play, what type of bowlers are required here to keep scores under 150. Oh, he saw him coming. Just went a little bit early. Harris did the right thing. It's very balanced. So he could just stop and dab it away. Once you keep your balance, your head tends to stay a bit stiller. Easier to pick up those, those slow deliveries. He's already got a wicket with a slow one. Can. Just uh, trying to find out which fieldsmen stay outside the circle before the bowler has bowled the ball. Quick single again. Easy one. So the Royals need to keep, I think, Basna here under 148 on this pitch. It's been normally the, about the average winning score at Premadas up. And they do that, they've got a good chance of winning this game. It tends to favour the team batting second during the day. A little bit different at night, though. Off the pad, that should run away for leg by. Should be four. Wait for the umpire, leg buys, and it is. So, 11 runs come from the over. It's 31 for one.
Basna here at 31 for one. Mandira, you've got one of the boys with us. Thanks very much for that. I've got Jerome Taylor here from the West Indies, who's playing here for the Rahuna Royals. Jerome, what are your thoughts at this stage of the match? Pretty decent start for your team. Oh, yeah, yes, it is. It's a fairly decent start at the moment. Um, hopefully the guys can capitalize on the start that they got right now and to keep on improving from here on. The wicket was playing a bit slow yesterday. The ball was swinging. We saw a score of 149. What do you predict for today? Well, actually, um, after watching the game yesterday, yes, the ball was seeming around somewhat. Actually, it is not happening today, but the wicket seems to have a bit more pace in it. And hopefully our fast bowlers can utilize that to the best of their ability. And um, hopefully we can get these guys for under 140, maybe. And we can see how best we can chase it now. Well, you're a fast bowler yourself and you have the good fortune of having Bakar Yunus as your team coach. What all have you picked up from him? What kind of tips? Well, actually, um, he, he's a gentleman, to be honest with you, because um, it's not the first time in the same environment where he's at. Um, I've been to Pakistan already and he and I, even though we're on the opposite side, we had fairly decent chat and um, I've, I've learned a lot from him since then leading up to now. So I think most of the guys who, who are in this team as a fast bowler should actually gravitate towards him and see how much they can actually grasp from him. And has your experience been here in the Mahindra Sri Lanka Premier League as a part of the Rahuna Royals? Actually, it is brilliant. To be honest with you, it's my first time in, in, in Sri Lanka and actually I'm, I'm, I'm loving it and hopefully the next time I run I can be here and can sh give a good account of myself as well. So you love Sri Lanka. What do you like to do in Sri Lanka outside of the cricket? <laughs> well, actually I haven't been out much in Sri Lanka. It's just in my room and to the ground and back. So actually hopefully next time I'll get some time to go out and actually get to see more of Sri Lanka. But actually what, what I've seen so far, it's actually nice and it's beautiful. Thanks very much for speaking to us and we hope you get to see a lot of Sri Lanka too. Thanks much. Well, you heard Jerome Taylor. He's looking for someone to take him around and show him the sights of Sri Lanka. I hope you commentators are listening. <laughs> uh, we're not. We go to bed early. That's the problem, Mandira. Magnificent Yorker there. Just quickly, Jerome Taylor, where's he at in his international career? Dues, I know we've spoken about it before, but has he got much of a future of the West Indies now or not? I think it's really up to him and uh, how he can bring himself back to full fitness hasn't played a lot of cricket in the last year or so uh, hasn't played any first-class cricket at home and so obviously not in contention for a test place so it's it's really up to him and to get himself back in shape and get himself fit to play some four-day cricket good delivery just inside the guidelines there that the umpires use Got any young Curtly Ambroses or anything like that coming through the West Indies? You know, 16, 17 year olds. Have you seen anything from the under 19 World Cup that might say, oh, we've got a couple of youngsters coming through? Well, I haven't seen too much of the under 19s, but um, there are a couple of guys who are in our high performance center who they seem to think pretty highly of, but time will tell. Nice cover driving, well fielded indeed. And that's not the best of throws I've seen for a long, long time. <laughs> it's look, look, he safe three. <laughs> but Dooge, I think you could throw this better left-handed. <laughs> well, that was a good piece of work. There's nothing pretty about that. <laughs> Just stuck in his hand. He did the important thing. Save three. <laughs> oh, that's a funny. He knows it's funny. He just saw himself on the screen. He thought, oh, that was a poor throw. You're right. <laughs> but well done. Save three. So, little things there. Oh, fantastic. He is just a great bowler at this level. Five overs gone, 32 for one. Basner here, a batting line up there, uh, particularly Langevelle. I'd like to see him back in the team. It'll help their bowling stocks for sure. Let's take it through the next five overs. Roshan Abbasenge and Jeffrey Thompson. Thank you, Dooj. Or Dino, should I say. 
in the two D's, so I think I'm excused for getting it wrong. It's going to be Dilruan Pereira. The ball is off spin to Dilshan. It's a cautious start for the Pastaira Dundees in this Mahendra Premier League, LPL. But they need something big here. Dilshan is just uh, getting into his stride, 15 of 16. Riley Russo has been extremely impressive. He's made 7 of 9. And, uh, well, they'll need 148, uh, Tomo. That's the pass call here. Yeah, the, the pitch seems slow. It, it was slowish last night. But it's hard to get the pace with. We, we only saw one guy get onto it yesterday. And uh, the rest really struggled to force the issue. And it, it seems to be even a bit more slowish today to me. The man at mid-off. And yeah. that should be out. Pilakrat Nadushan was struggling. And he's gone upstairs. But I can tell you that uh, it should be the second wicket uh, down for the Basna Hira Dandis. Dilshan really didn't look himself. Let's see what happens. Well, he didn't look, doesn't look too happy wandering around there at the moment. There's the throw. He's always scrambling. I'm oh. uh, pretty sure he's going to be out by a bit here. Oh. Bang. There, he's gone by a foot, I reckon. Yeah, it was uh, not a good call. He hit it too well to the man at mid-off. That was a trouble. Got there too quickly. And then Dilshan, well, he has been struggling, as we said. It was, uh, it was the far end. You know, so the, the thrower had to throw at the furthest distance and still beat him home. So Dilshan's gone for 15, 33 for two. Well, 33 for two. It's Bogus, new batsman. This is the sixth over. Cameron Bogus has an impressive strike record. Strike rate, that is. And uh, have to make sure that he gets things moving here. Now, Marlinga having a slip to the off spinner who will go from round the wicket. He doesn't look happy at all being run out. That doesn't look too impressed, does he, the skipper? He was uh, really looking forward to a, a bit of an outing here today. And Borges, he, he's been a little scratchy. He's looked good in spurts in previous games to me. Take a look at that run out again. This is Russo hitting it firmly to the man at mid-off. Now Dilshan was actually ball watching. That's what happened. He was not running hard. He was looking towards the uh, fieldsman. Yeah, he should have just uh, put his head down and gone as fast as he could because he, he was only up by a meet, uh, by a foot. But there he was looking over his shoulder, as you said, instead of just getting on with the job. 33 for two. It's a slow start uh, for the Basnahira Dandies in this Mahindra SLPL. Not been the best pitch to bat on, really. We haven't seen the ball coming on to the bat. Batsman really struggling to play shots. Just that one over from Rambukwell has been expensive. But other than that, the bowling has been very economical, disciplined.
Well, Harris is the man there, Daniel Harris. Uh, with these little uh, mediums. The keeper will be up to him, no doubt. Over the stumps. They're just adjusting the field. Another man on the onside. That's three out there on the on. Boundary riders. And a man just... Uh, short fine leg. He bowls those uh, cutters. Daniel Harris, gentle medium pace. But can be very useful on this pitch. With very little pace on it. He takes a lot of pace off the ball. Just got a wicket, but the economy rate has been very good. Looking for a single only. He's punching it away on the offside. Yeah, it's it's his sort of bowling. Uh, I agree with you there, Roshan, that... Uh, if he gets it right on this pitch, will be very hard to get away. It's, it's just hard to get the pace, and he has a lack of pace. He mixes it up as well, so you've got to watch him. So it's all about length. Fire a minute, the stumps, and, well, wait for the batsman to, to make a mistake. Very difficult to use the pace. Nudging, deflecting, gliding will be pretty tough. The batsman will be expected to make all the pace on the ball. August yet to get off the mark he's on strike that's what i'm talking about it hardly reached him bogus pushing at it on a good length so might be the pattern of play just singles just two runs of the first four balls current rate is under five and a half well we saw chris lynn last night the uh, the run scorer he started off slow like this hitting singles and that but he, he was striking the ball a bit better more intent on it but it did take him a little while and then of course he cut loose but he was the only one that did get a handle on this wicket and i think it slowed down a bit more oh he had plenty of time it had to be a special effort to tomo and Lynn provided it and uh, on a pitch like this to come up with uh, something extraordinary like what uh, Lynn did yesterday played some delightful shots that's wide-ish the end of the over 36 for two current rate they'll just get over the 100 mark but I think what they really need is somewhere close to that eight run and over score to give them a chance to have something to bowl at Dundies. We've got a change of bowling here it's going to be Shalika Karunanayaka he's making his first appearance in the Mahendra SLPL he's uh, played for the Wyamba before in the Champions League and that was before the Mahendra SLPL uh, came on stage, but that was when the Sri Lankan uh, T20, the inter-provincial T20 was played. That's a good return. Economy is uh, slightly on the high side, just under eight. His strike rate's not that big. When you look at the 35, it's probably one in three matches a wicket. been talking about how difficult it has been to bat on this pitch but one man yesterday I think uh, Lynn really showed us how to play some big shots yeah he was good off the back foot and well good on the front foot we didn't see too many uh, people go downtown and then they dropped in a touch shorter and then he had the options of going uh, square of the wicket that one was straight he hit some big sixes last night but uh, you can see the timing there. Whether somebody can do that today, well, it's going to take some doing. That had a lot to do, I think, with the power he generated. Real brute force. 
He did so hard. Well, he he's got a quick bat. You know, his quick wrist. He gets uh, quick hands through the ball, and he's good at hitting. You know, he he, he waited for the ball to get to him. That's uh, that's what you've got to do. You can't go at it hard initially because when it holds up on the pitch, you're going to hit a catch or miss hit it or scoop it in the air. He just had that little bit of delay in there to, to time it. So Karunayaka too will be pretty handy on this pitch because he varies his pace. Not very quick. Charlie Karunayaka just around medium pace but can vary his pace a bit. Pulls the cutter. Seems the ball around a bit. And on this slowish pitch the ball will struggle to come onto the bat when he bowls. A bit surprised that the keeper is standing uh, way back to him. Oh, it's a friendly delivery, but will be cut off. And they, oh, they want a second. There was a bit of a fumble at long off. Why would they remain on the field spin? But we could see that they haven't really been able to pick those boundaries and those big hits. Gee, I tell you, if you get a full toss on this wicket, uh, Russia, and I think you should cash in to get a single off of Pulley. It's that hard to hit it when it hits the pitch get a full toss in the air i think you've got to cash in it with a four or six you'll be disappointed with that not a quick single i think this might be the pattern of play sensible batting they're not hitting to really blast not looking to really blast the bowling but instead they're looking to do it in singles at least they might get to about the 10th or 12th over trying to do this and then look at fencing their chances and playing some big shots well it's around five at the moment isn't it so uh, well I think they'd like to be a hundred at least when they got to 15 overs he hit that one pretty well but he's just going to get a single for his trouble sounded better yeah it was poor fielding by Lassit Marling at extra cover he fielded it otherwise there was no run in it just went past him Again, just a single. Look at it. Couldn't pick it up. Oh, he did hit it pretty well. That's over that wicket area, and it, and it is going to bounce quicker there. It's harder turf, and I don't think he, he really could have got there. It was close. One is the call, but they don't get a single. The five of the over, 41 for two. Russo on strike, he's 12. Bogus is 3. Harris will continue. And singles uh, appear to be the pattern of play. All being knocked into gaps. They surprisingly got too many boundaries. Just one boundary in these Russo innings. Constructed over 18 balls. Bogus have made, Bogus have made just 3 of 9. another single yeah Bogus likes to hit the ball uh, I think that's his problem in, the, in, in this pitch just holding up he, he's finding it hard just to get you know the pace of the pitch at the moment with these slow bowlers too he doesn't want to strangle himself you could see uh, now this time they want a second and they'll get it good running Wahab Riyaz said to come in a fair distance from the boundary. Once again, Harris uh, taking a lot of pace of the ball, but very skillful batting. Just knocked it in those wide open spaces. He did it too hard. The fieldsman had to run a fair distance, allowing the batsman to come back. Well, those outfielders aren't all the way to the fence now.
Yeah, I think they've realised that they're in from the boundary, the guys on the fence. They're realising that uh, it's hard to hit a boundary, so they've got to make sure they don't give away a two. This one here will be a maybe a chance for two. The bowlers giving chase. Kept it down to one. Well, that's what they've got to do. Those outfielders now are basically like infielders, the way this is going. And they need to have their fielders in at least a little bit closer because... Uh, we haven't seen those time shots too much. I mean, looking to knock it into gaps, looking to run those first runs hard, maybe come back for the second. Straight to the fieldsman. 46 for two of nine. It's now time for a strategic timeout. Bashnahira won the toss uh, this afternoon and uh, elected to bat. Three, uh, two quick wickets there. Kuratni and Dilshan, the captain, out. And uh, Rasu and Borges, the men not out. Well, Sima Malika Temple, which is what you see, is situated on the Bera Lake in Colombo. And it's part of the famous Ganga Ramya Temple. It was built in 1979 by a non-Buddhist family, Mr. and Mrs. Asuka Musaji, a prominent Muslim businessman. Set on three link platforms rising out, rising out of the lake, Sima Malaka was apparently inspired by the design of Sri Lankan forest monasteries. The buildings are roofed with the lustrous blue tiles with small bow tree and a delicately carved hizop on the outer platforms. Been past that uh, temple a few times. It is spectacular there. Bashna here are projections there. Eight and over 134. I don't think that'll be enough. 140, I think, uh, it'd be enough to make it awkward the way things are going. It, it's just been a struggle. I, I'd imagine this pitch won't get any quicker. It'll just get slower in the second innings. The team batting second is what I mean, which will be the Royals. really blast the bowling not able to time it bogus uh, really looking to hit it hard but uh, once again the pitch defeating that shot yeah it keeps a good thrash at it doesn't it? but it just doesn't come off it just doesn't come on to the bat to come off it which is what you need oh that's big might go all the way, it just goes over the line. Now that was a full toss that Russo latched on to. You can't afford to miss out on those. And uh, Russo was quite willing to capitalize on it. Well, that's what it took to get it over the fence or get it to the fence. It was just a nice, juicy full toss and well, 
He's cashed in for the maximum. He's a good hitter of the ball. But you wouldn't call that a good ball. So, good comeback by uh, Karunayka. Following it up with a dot ball. Now, that's the length he needs to bowl, not full tosses. I think there's a bit of dodgy weather uh, looking uh, around at the moment, too. Uh, Roshan, it was nice and sunny right up till we started cricket, and there's some big clouds rolling in. Maybe the second game might be might have to think about who bats and bowls first in that one. Again. Oh, that's through Marlinga. Well, he's on those uh, pitchers there. Get a bad bounce. I'm not on his side this time. <laughs> Roshan, he should have been on this. He didn't get down with. Watch this. Oh, dear. That just stayed down. Malinga was hoping it will bounce. It just crept through his legs. This has been a fairly good over. Nine runs already. Make it 10. It might be 11 because they're looking to run that second run and they will make it. So 11 off the over, 57 for two. Seven for two in uh, ten overs. Asnahira. They need to move on uh, quite a bit. They need about 140. That has been the kind of score teams have been looking for here. Another single of the first ball. In fact, they're coming back for the second. Tell you more about it, Russell Arnold and Ramis Raja. Thank you, Roshan. Well, it's that time they need to get a move on. The wicket is slow, but yet score of around 150 is required. Side edge, it's just been single. This has been struggling to find the boundaries. These two batsmen. I like Riley Russo because uh, he's well established. His balance is good when he's hitting the ball. A very attractive left handed. They didn't catch it properly, but uh, every now and then you see a, a sparkle of brilliance from him. Very strong hitter of the ball down the ground. There's that improvisation, and the body improvised as well. And they'll pick up two runs. <laughs> Very funny to watch. A lot of batsmen prefer this shot nowadays. They're struggling to get a boundary. Try and get it over that wicket keeper's head. The other hand, it might have ended up being a juicy full toss. Could have smacked over long on or even deep mid wicket. Even he's found it funny, he's smiling while playing that. Gets it through the covers and here's a wonderful boundary. In the slot it was. It's a slow pitch, so you've got to get it absolutely right. And the idea was right from uh, Harrison. He pitched it up. That's a safer bet, but it was driven beautifully. Powerfully struck. Big wind and thrashed it. Long off in place. Third man in the circle. Again, slower. Reverse sweep. Won't run away. But these batsmen are quick. And a misfield. It's all happening out there. <laughs> a whole load of bloopers. Trying to create a bit of drama out of nothing. Went after it and uh, slided and missed the ball. That was the only problem with that effort. Otherwise, uh, looking at it cosmetically, looked pretty, but wasn't effective. You're playing his first game, Shalika Karuna Nayaka, in this tournament. Very experienced uh, first-class cricketer in Sri Lanka. Oh, 
beautiful hit. Harris doing well. At the end of Lovan, it's 69 for two. Kiladeni Myang player of the tournament. The contenders Kitruan Vithanage, Akila Dananja and Dilshan Munavira. Well, the two lucky players, Akila Dananja and Dilshan Munavira, picked in Sri Lanka's T20 squad for the World Cup next year. What a break for the two young men there. Dilruan Pereira. Oh, the one over for one run earlier. He's had a decent series you were talking about, Riley Russo. A while ago, Ramiz. Three innings, 88 runs. But the way he goes about accumulating his runs is, is a treat to watch. And he can only get better. Down the track. Doesn't find the boundary, but the fielder. He's a youngster as well, 22 years of age. And this experience will do him a world of good. He goes back to South Africa, plays on the bouncy pace of pitches and come back here or come back into, hopefully into international cricket. A lot of experience and skill too. I think the experience of Mahindra SLPL will make him a better batsman also because on those South African pitches you're brought up on those on those uh, high bouncy tracks where you develop certain shots and so some of these young guys are not that great against spin but uh, looking at Russo you can straight away make out that uh, he's also pretty keen against spin which is refreshing to see reverse sweep Middle of the bat, but no cap once again. So playing a spin here in uh, subcontinent conditions on uh, slow pitches really will make him a, a very fine prospect for South Africa. Will energize his betting skills. The other thing that I like about him is his confidence. He may be 22, but he oozes confidence. Hits down the ground a lot as well, so he's got his mind in the right place. Yeah, uh, I think that some of the younger Sri Lankans can replicate from his batting schedule. We've seen a lot of boys trying to hit across the line. Very seldom you've seen them hit straight. Just like that. Down the ground, another single. Six runs off that over, it's 75 for two. Twenty-five is definitely not going to be enough. Something close to 139 or even close to 150 is what Basna do need. Well, Mandira's back. She's just been around Columbo uh, showing Jerome Taylor a few sights. Let's see who she's with at the moment. I know you're very jealous sitting out, out there in the commentator's box while I'm getting all the action here on the ground. With me here is Jeevan Mendes now from the Basna Hira Cricket Dundee team. Jeevan, unfortunately, even if your team does win the match today, it's the end of the journey for your team as far as this uh, edition of the Mahindra Sri Lanka Premier League is concerned. What are the lessons that you're going to be taking going forward? Actually, you know, we, uh, I have to tell you first, unfortunately, we didn't get a you know, chance to get into the semi-final. That's happened in cricket. And, and uh, actually, we, you know, in the younger players, with the older players, we learn a lot of things from them. So actually, 
you know, it uh, has been great for us, you know, last uh, uh, two weeks. Tell me about your personal experience. You've got to rub shoulders with a lot of the foreign names as well. Uh, yes, you know, actually I've been playing cricket in the last three months, uh, actually, with the foreign players, especially, you know, Dishan and the Carl, Charles Langfield. I learn things from him, you know. It's good to have foreign players also, you know, we can learn things and we can share the you know, dressing with them. What kind of an advantage will it give you ahead of the 2020 World Cup, which is now around the corner? Actually, you know, we play. There's a lot of good foreign players, so we we played against them. So we learn things from the they are you know bowling and the batting. So I think it's a help uh, help for us to get into the semi-final. Uh, so 2020 World Cup. Outside of cricket, what do you enjoy doing? You were telling me earlier you love to do some gardening and you love dogs. Tell me a little bit about that. Actually, you know, I love to spend time in my. Uh, home with the dogs and the gardening actually you know I, you know uh, it's keep me quiet and uh, and uh, uh, interesting so and uh, you know hang out with a few friends at home especially thanks very much for speaking to us Ingrid. thank you thanks. Steven Mendes there who loves hanging out at home more than anything else back to you guys well, thanks Mandira you've done me a favor I've been looking for a gardener and I'm certainly going to have a chat to Jeevan about it Asit Malinga is back in the attack. He's going for the kill. We generally don't see him bowl out early. He's into his third over already. But sees it as an opportunity. Good piece of running. The low bat lift just to keep that ball out of the stumps. If they can hit hard here and restrict uh, the Basnahira cricket dandies to around 120, it'll give them an opportunity to chase hard and try and up their net run rate because mathematically they're still not out of it. All these balls in short spells and captains in this instance. He is the captain tries to keep most overs for the death. Quick short one. I'd be mentally all over the place if I was facing Lasset Malinga because you just cannot tame him. He is so difficult to predict. Now in T20 cricket, the last ball that you probably expect as, as a batsman is a bouncer. And especially in the middle of the innings, and he bowls a bouncer. Which was well received by Russo. I thought he played it well. It's another one. See, does it again. So uh, it's not only an attacking option that he possesses, but also his deliver two dot deliveries, and that means pressure. Went down, kept his bat down as well. But he can easily hoodwink you with with his mastery, with his uh, can outthink you so quickly. And you can see in that replay that Russo was going down the pitch slightly. That's because the ball, ball before was a bouncer. The batsman was thinking, okay, he's bowled a bouncer. He's going to be bowling it right up now. Third time round, he takes him on. And it's not a good sight. That was quick from Lasit Malinga, the quicker of the bouncers. <laughs> Lasit Malinga, he's walked away. It's not a great sight. He might have been the one delivering the blow. But as a person, you just don't want to see that happen to a batsman. First one to get away from the action. Yeah, you're right. It's uh, it's a nasty blow, and I think it got him uh, in that gap between the eye and uh, and the nose, possibly the cheekbone. I'm not too sure, but it was the third bouncer from Lasit Malinga, and Young Russo obviously was late in reacting to that length. Missed it, and 
well. It missed the grill of the helmet as well. That was nasty. And that's so unfortunate. It's so tricky when you get that grill in place because you try to, f you try to keep uh, the grill and the top of the helmet as close as possible so that the ball doesn't go through. And you also want to be careful that it doesn't obstruct your view. In this instance, you can see the ball go through that gap. It's a quick ball as well, 141 kilometers from uh, Lasset Malinga. And uh, Lasset Malinga just walked away from the action straight away. He felt the pinch also, he didn't look too comfortable. And that can happen to bowlers. You know, they, they at times just cannot take this and it dents their confidence also. But, uh, wow. This is Malinga's reaction straight away asking for help because he knew the impact was a serious one. And on his follow through, he was the closest to Russo. He's got the eyes back on his nose. That's where the damage would be. <laughs> the lady is Tamara, who's the physiotherapist of uh, Cricket Dundee. Retired her, unfortunately, for 31. Rusa, it's 77 for two. The young fellow Lee needs all the help. <laughs> Psychological help at this stage will be uh, most welcome. Just try to jam up. I'm sure he'll be taken to the hospital for extras because it really was a, a serious blow. <laughs> Mamudullah is in. But Lasit Malinga bowling his third over of the uh, third bouncer of the over and uh, will completely hoodwink the batsman on the last occasion. Here are those three balls. Got under the first two. But didn't expect the third. And had nowhere to go. Ouch. It was a quicker bouncer. And with that bowling action, if you've not faced him, you don't realize at what pace it's coming at you. Because with that slinging action, you just cannot know. You know, at when the wrist is engaged and at what pace the ball is coming if you've not played him. They're trying to just put a patch on uh, where the blood fell after that hit. He did lose a fair bit of blood. His Lasit Malinga was in the best position to see what had really happened. He was on his follow through. In the moment he saw Russo dripping, gave the signal, walked up to him walked away they look mean these fast bowlers but they're soft inside and they're very soft when they are doing commentary I know another fast bowler from Sri Lankan Rumesh Ratnayaka who collapsed when he saw the batsman bleed Larry Gomes he hit down in Australia in a series played before. Starts with a slow one. It's missing leg stump. And he's given it bats. Can't yeah, given it off the bat end of 13. An eventful 13th over 78 for two. Plenty of uh, lower man is in there, hardly any tall towers, and that's what uh, the Basna Hira Cricket Dundees do need. It's been steady accumulation for them.
Harris changing ends. Ball three overs for 20 runs so far. Dr. Harris, in fact. Yes, I believe he's got a, a medical degree and is a qualified doctor. And a very nice bloke. I was having a chat to Vakar Yunus and he was raving about how good he is off the field. Well, I failed to keep an eye on him, on how good he was as a doctor out there when he was needed, when Russo needed him. But he's doing a job with the ball for his captain at the moment. Slightly high. But they're quite uh, quick between the wickets, Bogus especially. And Prasanna Jayawardena just chirping at the back there. This guy's swinging it. I think the ball has been changed. So uh, it's a new ball or a newer ball. And uh, so it'll get to, to do something more out of this track. These are the type of bowlers that are very useful on this pitch. Just take the pace off and ask the batsman to make all the play. The length, that's the key thing. Not under the bat, not too short. A good length, it's very difficult to work on a pitch like this. Well, Russo is going to be hitching a ride for the moment. Just go make sure everything's fine. As Mahmoudullah thought found the boundary, but Rambu Kuala doing well. Keeps it down to two runs. He's a good all-round cricketer, cricketer Mahmoudullah, also a very fine off spinner. And he can... Uh, Force a punch, especially through the offside. Effective way to pick up another single. So that ends the 14th over. 83 for two. Leading run scorers in the Mahindra SLPL. Kamran Akmal, 203 runs in five innings. Tilakraft and Dilshan won't bat again in the tournament. Neither would uh, Kamran Akmal. And it's going to be... It's going to take some doing to beat him there, though. The Mahindra XUV 500. That's the award for the man of the tournament. Few contenders, run scorers, and a few wicket takers too who put their hands up for that one. Shalika Karuna Naika being brought back into the attack. Six overs remain. Ten and over from here is a must. 140 at least to stay competitive. Basnahira Cricket Dundee could never recover from uh, Brad Hodge's exit. I think uh, he was the uh, main player in the middle order. And uh, alongside Dilshan, uh, the other experienced hand to navigate the innings in T20 format. So the batting looks thin and needs to kick on now. And looking for the block hole, well bowled by Karuna Nayaka. They won the very first game in the tournament and since then, not that they have lost, they've not looked good at all. 
And here's a shining light they had found as the tournament went on. And uh, just getting off the phone, letting loved ones back home, let, letting them know that he's all right. He's a tough guy. Doesn't want to be helped by anyone, but it's precautionary. X-rays, whatever tests need to be done. Gets it into the gap. Yet Kanba find the boundary. Hey. Russell, as we all know, it's such a funny game, this <laughs> this game of cricket. I um, toured the West Indies in 1988, played three test matches, five one days, and uh, came back in one piece, facing Marshall and Patterson. And so I was doing nets in Lahore immediately after the West Indies tour without the helmet on, and somebody from five yards came in and split open my eyebrow. Full toss. And it's six this time. Bogus accepts the invitation and puts it away. Very welcome boundary. It didn't sound proper, but uh, it went for six. Good strike. Just the kind of six that lift the tempo of the innings. Well, I'm with you on that one. I've been hit on the face twice. Once at practice. When a deeply doubly bowler just put it there. One of those flicks that I used to play. I got a uh, top edge and it split my lips. And just last month, I was playing a charity match. And a 52-year-old just came doubling up. Pulled a short one. Gets it over the wicket keeper. No damage to the keeper though. Four more useful runs. He's got to ask for a helmet, the keeper. And also, I think in T20 cricket, it's, it's also important for the uh, for the umpires to wear a helmet as well because you know these bats are getting bigger, the pitches are getting softer. And the batsmen are trying to improvise at times like this and also at times just going straight and hard in the direction of the umpire. He maintained his balance and kept his eye on the ball. Just to quickly finish my story, again another top edge and I have a fractured bone just, just under my eye about six months ago. But no injuries at all during my playing career. A bottom edge. Prasanna Jayawardana. Unable to hang on to it. There was plenty of deviation though. Needed to stick. Last injury you said suffered a month back? Six months ago, Ramiz. You got to ex your age, boss. You were a retired cricketer now. But this guy was another 15 years older than me. So it was fair enough me taking him on. <laughs> but unfortunately he took you out. <laughs> oh yes, and it hurt. At the end of 15, BCD are now 97 for two. Seven for two after 15 to take it through the last five overs. It's going to be Dean Jones and Jeffrey Dujon. Well, a target now. Round about one. 50 they'll be looking to go eight runs and over from here getting 130 up but i still think they've got one 
150 in their sights. Best Nahira. Borg is particularly a damaging player. He's very good down the ground, likes to hit it over Cowie Corner. Mamadala, very, very good as well. Awful coming into the pitch when you see a player being hit in the snout, hit in the head. Makes you often wonder why you play the game, but you have to. I like seeing players getting injured. Well, the loss of Rayleigh really Rousseau will slow things down a little bit. Take Mamadula some time to get going. He's not going to have a lot of time, but he's trying to get things going as well. Riyad Mamadula, who was the captain of the Chugong Kings in the Bangladesh Premier League as well. is that little funky little squeak that he does. Scoop. Borgus, obviously been watching the Dulce play it a fair bit. Much safer to play this shot off a spinner. You get this wrong, you can just ramp one into your snout. The key to it is that they get the head outside the line. If they get it, they get the bat underneath the ball and off it goes. That's the whole key. Get the key. Get the head outside the line of the ball, offside of the ball. So one more ball to go. And I'll pinch at least one. Mamadula looking for two. And knows the call. So there you have it. Seven runs from the over. It's 104 for two. And... The strategic timeout will happen. Welcome back here, four overs to go, Bas Nahira. Well, they've got a good launching pad to get it close to 150 if they can. I think it depends mainly on these two batsmen here, Borbus and Mamadullah. Two wickets to fall. Let's have a look how they fall. Uh, this was Karuna Ratney. Picked a slow one into short. Fine leg, and this was Delchan. That ball was just struck too firmly to the fielder. Wilshan may be guilty of a bit of ball watching and late making his ground. So a wicket for Wabriaz, the other one obviously a run out. But it's with only Rambuquella that 11 off that one over. Everyone else is Karun and Nayaka. It's a bit expensive, but it's been a pretty decent bowling performance from Ruhuna. 104 for two now, just four overs to go. And it's going to be up to Basnahira to get up to somewhere around that par score, which is around 148. Borges is there on 40. Mamadullah there in support on seven, as Riaz it is. 
was going to come back. And these two batsmen, Borges and Marmadula, will be attacking him for sure, without doubt. There he is. Brad Marmadula there and, and Borges, both very good hitters, hit the ball in vastly different areas. Both strong boys, and I reckon he's done, uh, he'll get, they'll try to bowl two from Riaz. Malinga will definitely bowl one more, and Pereira, I dare say, will bowl the last, or the 18th anyway. So, expecting some fireworks here. Well, there's a polite inquiry. They're all, how's that, how's that? And now given. Now, a very interesting there, Dooge, and I have a bit of a giggle because he waited for the batsman to look at him, the umpire, and then he looked, he says, now you're out, instead of walking. Well, I reckon he thought it was so obvious that the batsman couldn't possibly be thinking of standing up there. Didn't look that obvious to me. But clearly there was a sound and maybe the strength of the appeal caused the late decision. But Gab Bogus goes for 40 and uh, Basnahira now 104 for three. Gunnar Dillike, 111 striker. He's got a 58 not out, but he ain't got time for a look here. He needs to go hard. I think it's perfect to have a left-hander in here as well, facing a left-hand bowler. I don't expect him to hit lots of stuff early, though. Ooh, a little whippage there. Might get two if he runs the first one hard. Knows the call. I heard it just a, just a delicate nick. Have a listen. Just a feather. That was a slight deviation. And I guess Borgas was just hoping that the umpire hadn't picked it up. It was going well, was Borgas. The loss of his wicket likely to slow things down somewhat. Rahuna will be pretty happy with the state of things as, as they are. No, the pressure on Marmadula here. A little work on the leg side. Looking for two. Running the first one hard. They'll only get one. Has been involved in a couple of runouts in the Bangladesh Premier League that he'd like to forget. He's a fine player. I don't know if you've seen much of him. The vice captain of Bangladesh. I need some fours, dudes, because I think the way they're going, eight runs per over from here, one, three, four won't be enough. Will not be enough against the Royals for me, particularly when they've got players like Jamshed in their team. Hits the, hits the pitch here with a bat. Good bowling. He's getting it a lot fuller now. Riaz. Not a lot to really write home about on that Manhattan. Having just lost the three wickets, you'd expect that they would be a little bit further ahead. Oh, that one should have been dealt with more than it was. Two's the call, they won't get it. I won't get it. It's a good quick call by Marmandula, and it's fair enough too as well. Fielder there, Rambuquella. Not the fastest. Made good ground to his right. Good hat. I like him on that hat. 
Look good on you, dudes, playing golf. Your five handicap. Right, Marmadillo, who can hit the ball over over mid off. He's very good there. He's very good over extra cover as well. Good clean hitter of the ball, this lad. Ramps it over there. Oh, good feeling. Very good feeling. Got an awkward bounce hit. Kept the ball in front of him. So, great over and deep by Riaz. Four runs from it, 108 for three. Premier League, their official broadcasters were shown in India, Pakistan, Middle East, USA, the Caribbean, Canada, Maldives. What a beautiful spot that is as well. And YouTube, get on the internet. Proudly produced by Grey Matter and Sportsworks. Done a good job. I hope you're enjoying these pictures and this coverage. Just starting to hot up now for the last few overs left in this Basnahira innings. Leg side field spread far and wide, long on, deep mid wicket, deep backward square leg. Oh, has he got a hat? What a great catch! What a great catch! Brilliant stuff. Finally, we've seen a little bit of athleticism moving to his left and one stuck. Well, that's rare. You got the feeling this hit the bottom of the bat really get it like he wanted to and that's a great catch just managed to get the fingers under it so gonna delicate goes for just two four for 109 Single on the leg side. Pereira. Sorry. Sarasinghe comes to the crease. And the reason he's here is this. Good catch. This good vision here. Just got the hand underneath it. The key was the elbow. A lot of wicket keepers try to get their elbow away from it when they're falling so it didn't, doesn't allow the ball to pop out when they land. He's bowled really well here, Pereira, hasn't he? Got one for 16 off his 3.4. They're trying to target him, but I'll tell you what, he's, he hasn't bowled a loose ball anywhere. He's bowled very, very well under pressure around the wicket. Well done, they won't mind that. Oh, it's been a, a fine performance by the Royal State. They've been good in the field. They've used the conditions well. The pitch hasn't had a lot of pace in it. They've kept the ball pretty full. Great over there for the Royals. 111 for four, two overs to go. Welcome back, 111 for four. Pereira just finished his four overs, one for 16. Did not get hit for one, four or six in this innings. Basnahira boys only hit five fours and 
two six or so it's been a very disciplined performance by the Royals and now Riaz to finish off his spell he's got two for 14 from his three overs bowled very very well Malinga no doubt will bowl the last over they need to win this game to have any chance of qualifying for the finals the Royals swing and a miss and they need to knock these runs up in pretty quick time as well to get that net run rate up because it will probably come down to that just worried about Marmadula here they're looking to hit the ball over he's looking to hit the ball over mid off cover area well, I think they got the right field for him. Off the pads, they've only get one. Very good bowling. Good discipline stuff. Knowing where the batsman's strengths are, their weaknesses. Apart from his first couple of balls he's bowled, he's been okay today. Rios. Couple of wickets there, and he hasn't gone for much more than six and over. One of the overs, second over there. But all in all, he's quite a difficult customer to get away. Surasinghe, what can he do? Well, he gets bat on it. That's all you want. It's up to Marmadula to hurt them here. He's got ten for fourteen. He's been a bit short today. Normally, gives you a couple of sixes and a few fours. This is setting up to be a very modest score. This plays right into the Royals' hands. They can knock these off quickly. They can get the net run rate up and have to hope that Nagnahira stumble in their last two. League buys again bowling very well good lines tonight where's this performance been from them over the last few games it's a fair enough amount of batting up front they'll have a good chance of getting at this score and getting it hopefully within the 20 overs well within I think it won I dare say yeah the two field uh, two batsmen there I think they'll rely to get most of the runs would be uh, Jamshed Nasa Jamshed and Aaron Finch both of them haven't had much of a tournament at, at all that Harris there he's, he's been a little bit disappointing with the bat they just haven't made enough runs for me right throughout the whole tournament. There's Finchy there. He's got a few autographs saying hello to the, some of the young kids. Good lad, Aaron. Now, Malinga moving the field around. Now, so there's a field I've never seen in T20 cricket. A deep mid-off, a deep extra cover, and an, a cover. Look at that. Three guys in the little ring there. Try and get the ball through there. It's a no-ball. Now we've got a free hit. A free hit. And that's another no-ball this lad's bowled. He's bowled too many right throughout this whole tournament. And this is the wrong time when you're trying to finish well. It's been an excellent over so far. Okay, so now where's he going to try and hit it? I dare say it'll be over. 
try to hit it down the ground. He'll bowl it if it's very full or bowl a very slow change up delivery. Might be the leg spinner of his. No, he's bowled the fuller one and he'll only get one. Oh, he would have been run out there if, he, if it hit. Bowler got in the way. End of the over. Seven runs from it, 118 for four. The last over here to be delivered by the great Lasseth Malinga. Just five fours and two sixes. It's been a pretty boring performance, one would have to say, from Basnahira. 118 for four. They need to get it over 130 for me if they've got any chance at all to win this game. And the interesting thing for me is only got one fieldsman in the ring on the offside and he's got three on the leg. So will he be looking to work the ball on the leg side or try and play a Dilshan shot. With this field, he has to bowl very full outside off stump. Right there. He's so accurate, this lad. So accurate indeed. single not enough well, I think Basna here have themselves to blame if you're in the 19th over you've only lost four wickets it tells me that you just haven't been aggressive enough it just hasn't been enough intent give the ball inside some credit but just has not been enough aggression No one's prepared to play the Dilshan or run at him and try and flick him through mid wicket or through fine leg. No one's prepared to take a risk. Ever since Russell been got cleaned up by Malinga, this game has lost a lot of interest for a lot of players here. Really bad smash to the head. Inside edge. I'll get one. Always the case when a player gets injured, particularly getting hit, hit in the face. Okay, now can Mamadoula finish off with a couple of fours here? Or well, one four anyway. He is so good, he just knows where to bowl the ball. He practices a lot bowling the York out. He likes bowling to a pair of boots in the nets just to get his length right. I reckon he does so much more than any other bowler in the world at this level. He just knows where they're going. Look at those for numbers. It's all about economy rates. Bat on it and they should run we'll try to run two just run two well that just shows me how they've played this whole innings and they never really look like running two and that will complete the innings 123 for four they didn't even try to run two there really weak effort from Basnahira 
allowed themselves to be dominated. Don't think they were aggressive enough, and they've ended up with a very mediocre score of, of 123, only losing four wickets. Rohuna bowl themselves into a position now where if they can get these quickly, it's half the battle won to get up the table with a decent run rate. Only Borges 40 from 33 and Rousseau 31 from 35 had to Rousseau had to go being hit in the face. But nobody else really tried to push things along. So 123 for four is what it is. So let's go down now to Roshan. See who he's got on the other end of the mic. Very much with me is one of Sri Lanka's best young batsmen, Lahiru Tirimana. Lahiru, how are you feeling with the SLPL? Happy? Uh, yes, uh, it's a good opportunity for us. So uh, ahead, uh, we, we are having the T20 World Cup uh, ahead, so we have a good opportunity to perform. What do you think of today's game? You think uh, Runa Royals have it under control? Yes, uh, Vigadi is a little bit slow, so 123 is a gettable target in this wicket, I think. How do you think we should bat? The one should bat on this pitch. Uh, we have to keep our wickets intact. So uh, 15 overs, uh, we have to. Uh, get up, we, we have to keep our wickets intact so we can attack after that. All right, Lahiru, all the best. Thank you. That's it, uh, gentlemen, from down here. Thank you very much, Roshan. Well, let's have a look at the uh, the bowling figures. Indeed, Malinga, outstanding. No wicket for 13. Riaz, 2 for 19 with a 3 no ball thrown in there. Harris was the surprise pick for me. No wicket for 25. Baldo K. Pereira, 1 for 16, was also outstanding. They, they, they just gave nothing away and only gave away five fours and two sixes from their bowling lineup. Well, there's the target here. The Royals need 24 runs to win from just 25, uh, 20 overs there at 6.2 runs per over. It should be a doddle, but you never know in this game. Sri Lanka Premier League. Thank you. 
Mahindra Sri Lanka Premier League. So Basnaira end up with one, two, three, four. After 20 overs, 12 extras. Let's have a look at the highlights. Yes, uh, got away too well. That's the way the inning started. A, a, a simple catch there, a ball that should have been hit away for runs and just down somebody's neck. And then the skipper got in, tried to force the issue. Dilshan, this is, chipped it over that man there behind square a couple of times. Borges, rightly received, sorry. Trying to uh, up the ante. It's all been very difficult out there on this pitch to really get anything going and then the run out. Trying to force the issue. Rasu and Dilshan and uh, just had an tragedy. Full tosses, that's the only thing they could get over the fence at the moment to find boundaries. It was very tight bowling and then this happened. A couple of bounces there and he dropped it in a bit short, skid it off and uh, Rasu was struck in the nose. And then the match continued on. A couple of big hits. Tried to innovate every now and then. Tried to get the innings going and it was just hard work the whole way. And uh, that was a fine nick behind. And that's a very, very good catch there. Got bold Pereira. Very good effort. There wasn't too many highlights to talk about in that innings. And the target, well, is 124 runs to win from the 20 overs. Can they get there? Mahindra, Sri Lanka Premier League. Well, it's uh, turned out to be a lovely, pleasant evening here. As we have uh, a 360 degree look at the uh, wonderful cricket stadium here in Colombo. Premadasa Cricket Stadium is ready for innings two. Target one to four. Nasser Jamshed is the left hander who is on strike from Pakistan. Good, decent strike rate, good, decent batsman up front. And he's got Finch as his partner. Jaya Ratna is the bowler. So, uh, Cricket Dundee in need of some quick strikes. It's nicely timed. It's a good batting track. Just couldn't fathom why Basnahira ended up with a low score. 
Yeah, they just looked lethargic, didn't they? They just didn't get going the whole way. I mean, that first wicket we saw that uh, fine leg flick, you know, straight to the fielder. They just never got off the deck. It was like uh, they were numb the whole way through the night. He's hitting the bat not too badly, this fella. 80.5 mile per hour. We obviously feel that he's got talent. He's uh, supposed to go and uh, be part of the MRF regime in India. So Sri Lankan spinning hope on uh, this young fellow. Uh, it's ball on the pads and gone for runs. You've got to be disciplined at this level. Leg by is conceded. Yeah, he's just giving you a bit extra pace. We didn't see much pace uh, other than Malinga. For the Royals. And now the young, enthusiastic Quick has uh, just dragged it down leg side and, uh, well, just an easy flick for that one. Easy boundary. Well, that's gone. Dismissed. Six. Beautifully done. Nasser Jamshed has played a glorious straight drive for a six. Well, unfortunately, he's hit the wrong length. And the batsman, well, on this pitch, he's just come on. He's just coming on a bit good. Now it's uh, it's probably freshened up maybe the pitch, you know, the, the atmosphere just cooling down a touch. We haven't seen too many straight hits on this ground in this innings. That's a good, bright pull shot. So a straight six, and the next ball is punched over mid-wicket for a four. Uh, enthusiasm. You can't uh, stop him for that, but uh, length. That's not a good length on this pitch. That sat there. And all the time in the world, look at him watching this delivery. Bang. Didn't flinch. out of his crease it's a dot ball bowl wide and at a slow pace it's 14 without a loss after over number one After over number one, 14 without a loss. Rangana Hera is coming on to ball. It's a bit of spin being introduced by Dilshan. Aaron Finch is a bright striker of the ball as well. Best of 93 strike rate, uh, touching uh, over 130. Yeah, he hasn't been that good in this series, but uh, Rami so far, Aaron Finch we're talking about, Harath, he's been pretty good. I don't have to worry about him with his economy, right? Yeah, Pinch is uh, one guy that goes at the ball fairly hard. He's got to uh, be more circumspect about what he does here. Appeal for LBW. Five matches, 95 runs. He's got a 65 in there, but uh, that was one of the earlier games. Well, that's smacked over cover. What a good start. Finch is in business as well. Gets off the mark with a lofty drive. Yeah, he likes to get on with it. He's a very strong boy. Finch, you can see his build, very stocky. Well, that's a pretty good shot with the uh, power play on. Just get over those infielders. And they've cleared them by a long way. That's gone as well. Beautifully sweat all along the ground. Strong wrist, strong bottom hand. Been seen here. And uh, so 
back to back boundaries. Oh, Bashner here would want to put a break on this. They haven't got much to uh, defend. And already 22 have come up quickly. Goes back. That uh, could be just a little bit dicey against a spinner with a new ball. Rangana Harith has got to somehow look to spin the ball. No, it's difficult. It's new. That's the. Uh, that's his only way out of this. Slide and on the bounce to Miroh. Dilshan is normally good at uh, at such takes, but he went back just a little bit. Couldn't gather the uh, flight on this one. The uh, Karen ball from Ranganahera. And uh, that gets rid of the second over and uh, 23 for none. decent side Malinga Vahabria's uh, two paces the batting looks pretty solid as well Charles Langafil has got the ball so Dilshan changing and chopping his bowling options no slip it's a safe field goes full and goes just a little bit leg sided just wanted to ask you one question Tomo when do a fast bowler bowl a bouncer in T20 cricket or for that matter in any form of the game because we saw the young fellow after being hit for a straight six went short and then he went for mid wicket boundaries so I'm just wondering at what stage do you need to exercise that option well there's the straight six so he, he figures the guy's coming forward to him so he tries to put him off drops it in short but way too short now he's probably 120 130 odd k's now that's not sharp enough to surprise you know a, a good player so what you try to do is you try to see initially is the guy a front foot player is he a back foot player so if he's a front foot play what you try to do is get him to play what they're uncomfortable with so you try to force him back but you need the pace to do that and uh, oh, sometimes the pitch is dead, like to a flat pitch, you've got to pitch it up and that, and then you get sick of the, bat the batsman getting used to. A bouncer then is a surprise ball, so you've got to make sure you bowl a good one, a la what um, Lasset Malinga did today. And you've, and you've, well, there's a bit of misfield here, they're going to be extra runs. The stump ricochet didn't do many favours. So not much uh, going Bashna here as way. We'll just have a little look at this. Quite a good throw, direct hit. And unfortunately, that's what can happen. So, so really, what, what I'm trying to say is you've got to assess the situation. You just don't run in and bowl a bouncer and think it's going to work. You know, you've got, you've got to look at the guy that's batting to you and think, well, is he a good hooker or not for a starter? Well, that's a clean strike and a mighty good strike. That's a great shot. Just a pickup on the pads and away she went for six. Well, it nearly hit our Mahindra, not the one on the screen there. The uh, actual prize for our player of the series. But have a look at the way he just casually flicked. Oof, there's a lot of forearm strength in that one. Bang. Him smack of the middle of the bat goes short and goes slow but the ball goes across very quickly Langerfeld being manhandled here well there's another one uh, you were asking about short balls I was just looking at uh, Finch's grip watch his grip here low on the bat 
That means a guy is really good at playing short at delivery square. The wicket, we saw him also, he's strong, he hits down the ground, but generally if you bowl short to him, he's going to like cutting and pulling with that grip. That's another smack. Great end to the over, it's been great entertainment. And it's 18 from the over, 41 without a loss in no time. Off to a blistering start, 41 without a loss in three overs. And we're talking uh, about real solid shots in the first three overs. Terrific entertainment being provided by the Royals. Bas Naira have been the mere spectators. They've been at the receiving end. Taking that point a little further, Tom, about bowling short and when to bowl it short. And I think he's probably belted the ball out of shape, so uh, there's another ball coming, but uh, some uh, fabulous shots being played. That six over mid wicket was delicious. And then this uh, uppercut pass point, and then a magnificent straight blow. All good cricketing shots. Just wondering that a bowler like uh, Jayaratna Need, needs to be encouraged though Tomo because he's young so you can't tell him not to bowl a bouncer I think it's fine to bowl a bouncer but when to bowl it that's important coaching well that's exactly right it's it's well it is coaching but it's also you got to learn yourself you know like he goes into that situation he tries the bouncer it didn't work uh, I don't think he tried another one but, you know, you, you just don't think, you know, what works in junior cricket and all that isn't going to work in the top level. And the only way you find out is by, you know, just suck it and see, as, as they say. And uh, you learn from that. You learn... Uh, it, it's hard when you haven't played players before. So, you know, it, it's like when you're an experienced bowler and you're playing a new guy in the side, a new young bloke, it's the same thing. You don't know what he likes and doesn't like. So... It's how, how quickly you adapt as to how good you are. I think that's uh, wishful thinking, the appeal. There's not much been going that way. No, but, but like we say, uh, Rummies, we've got a lot of young blokes. That might be another six. That's a flat six. That's really put a hole in the uh, basset block wall over there. He's just nailed this one. Well, this is serious bar hitting. Another vicious blow. Flat, a skimmer for six. I tell you what, if the last ball was out of shape, this one's got to be. Slimo, look at that, how he leaves it. And it's hit a, a concrete wall over there, but that ball's got to be damaged. That was the bowler's competence. I, for a second, thought that you were saying that that concrete wall would have been damaged. He likes playing here. 65 is best scored here. Oh, oh ball him. Played all over it. Mamudal has the last laugh. With the hands raised, he's done it. Oh, what a good comeback after being hit for a massive six flat over square leg. He's come back and cussled him. Yeah, it was the wrong one there, wasn't it? It was, wasn't short enough to play that shot. And a little bit of overspin on that one. Mamadula gets his revenge. Aaron Finch uh, stung him a little bit. And it's 48 for one.
Chamra Silva is a good talent. Strike rate uh, 111.6, but he, he can be depended upon. Is is that kind of a batsman? Where they'd be T20 cricket or a 50 over format. Comes in early at number three. And straight away being dealt a severe blow. Gone for four. First ball. And he's hit, hit it for a lovely boundary over square leg. Yeah, bad <laughs> line that one. Sorry, Ramis, but just, just a terrible line. 52 for one. Pulls apart the two uh, lines, the two worms. Rahuna really fired off. And uh, they've achieved really substantial. Substantially in the first uh, four overs. 52 for the loss of a single wicket. And I'm a singer has got to uh, try his luck from uh, this end. And the reason I say luck is it, it hasn't been a lot of joy for the bowlers, it, even though that uh, total in the Bashnahira innings was low. Uh, no bowlers really tempted the batsman. They contained it, but didn't terrorise them. Mamu the land did uh, his party. Finch played all around it. He was bold. But he's... Uh, Offered them a great platform to attack Basnaira and is going and playing some seriously good shots. Nasser Jamshed has played a wonderful flick over long on for a six. This is magnificent batting. Great viewing. Very good hit. This is off the back foot. Rocks back. Got it low on the bat, but boy, did he get it good. 80 meters right up the middle. Just a little wrong in length and uh, boy, he was quick to zoom on that. Exquisite timing on that one. And so uh, the Royals making full use of the field restrictions. We're still in the batting power play, 4.2 overs, and look at the score, 58 for the loss of a single scalp. Oh, chance was at the non-strikers end. I think he's thrown at the wrong end. Chamra Silva was ball-watching and hesitating, and he was out of his crease. Yeah, I, d I don't know what he was thinking about here. Well, uh, the batsman did take off again. They're both watching, you know, instead of just trusting. Uh, I, I'm glad he didn't trust him because I don't think there was a run in it, but not good calling. Beats him looking for that big uh, swing through the offside. I think he tried to hit it just a little bit too hard and lost the focus. Yeah, it was a slower delivery. It sort of was there, one on the slot. He just played down the wrong line. It didn't deviate. He's eyeing off those uh, straight hits with the field up in this power play. The shot's on. Well, that's a wild one. <laughs> well, I, I think that's the only way to uh, escape at the hands of uh, Nasser Jamshed because he's been building them for sixes. Well, I don't know where that came from. He's looking at his hand. Maybe it is sweat because that was wild. Sweat with a lot of tension. <laughs> He'll try it again. Cracks it, finds the man at point. The approach is so refreshing when you consider that Basnahira were going nowhere with their play. 
Look at Royals and uh, this is T20 batting. Carefree and uh, pretty objective. The shot selection has been good. The range has been immense. But when you're down as a side, you're down. You can't do nothing about it. That's beautifully done. On the bounce, over the rocket. In fact, it's gone all the way for six. Well, that's gone flat, and that's another six. Well, yes, the arms are raised by Wahab Riaz. His mate confirms the, the end reserve. Have a look at that. Uh, half flick we almost as if he was trying to half hit the ball trying to just work it away over the inner field and it went all the way magnificent shot and it's 65 for one Sixty-five for one after five. It's uh, as if Basnair had been struck down by a fierce hurricane. Fours and sixes galore. And to take you further, with a lot of interest, we've got Russell Arnold and Dutsa. Thank you, Ramiz. Fifty-eight required from ninety balls. They're doing what they can to stay alive, the Rune Royals. They initially have restricted uh, the Basnahira Cricket Dandies to a manageable score. Not too much, around 123. Giving them the chance to have a go at it. And get there quickly. By, by that, they'll push their net run rate higher. And if one of the other teams do, do not show up, do tend to lose. They give themselves a chance. Well, that's all they can do right now, uh, Russell. It's pretty much out of their control. All they can do now is win and win handily and hope maybe the Nagas might stumble in their last two. But that's where we go, where we are now. They're going to hear uh, they have two more games and. If they win them, then they're through. They lose them, and Rahuna win their next two. With a decent run rate, they'll be in. This is going to carry the whole way. An unorthodox shot from Chamara Silva. Full toss, though, so that made it easy. He adjusted his body to pick his spot. Well, he knew there wasn't anyone in, so he just gave it all the elevation he could. This is always going to be four or six. Into this one. It'll carry down to long on. They'll only get a single. Must say, Russ, that this game needed something to wake it up. The first, the first innings by Basnahira was very pedestrian. And... Uh, the Royals have come out and just lit the place up. In another wide, it's just falling apart. The only shining light was, of course, Riley Russo, but unfortunately, did get hit. From then on, they look like they've had no idea at all. No, 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 no. And the dot ball. And at the end of the sixth over, they do call for the strategic timeout. It's 76 for one.
What a start for the Runa Royals. Nazir Jamshed carrying on from where Finch left off. Just what they needed, a spark to try and give themselves a chance going forward in this tournament. Look at the gap in the Wilms, and it also shows the intent of the two teams. Well, Rahuna know what they have to do. They've got to get these runs, and they've got to get these runs quickly. And that's the all important. Things come down to net run rate. And they've, they're doing very well at it. 48 now to win from 84 balls. And having lost, just lost the one wicket, I think that they're going to try to maintain this momentum and try to get these runs as quickly as possible. Well, they just need the 48 runs, dude. And they can easily get there in six overs, let's say. Scoring it in 12 runs will give them a massive boost. Maybe even uh, quicker. Still got the nine wickets in hand. They should just go for it, as they are doing. Well, they have the intent, and that's good. That's what's been lacking. That's what, what lacked when Basla Hero batted. And these guys have come out, and they've really gone at it. And he's given him first ball wicket for Dilshan. He just seems to be able to pick up wickets at will. Uh, Silva did really need to play this shot. Dilshan just come on. Could have worked that into the onside for a single. And he's hit in front. There's no question about that. Dilshan picks up a wicket. And Silva goes for 12. Two for 76. Nanayaka gets off strike straight away just as Chamara Silva should have done but let's go and talk to Mandira who might have an update on Riley Russo for us well I'll try and get you an update I'm with Tamara the physio of the Basnahira cricket dandy team Tamara how's Riley doing he's he's fine he's in the hospital right now the ambulance staff and the medical staff at the ground have stabilized him and taken him to the hospital and and uh, we'll see how it goes from there tell us a little bit more about the injury the, uh, there was a lot of blood from what we could see yeah then he has quite a deep cut on his on his nose but here there was a lot of swelling that was going to his eye area uh, there's a possible fracture of the cartilage um, and we've just got to make sure that he's cleared from concussion and a few other things like that so especially he's at the hospital right now and so what's the prognosis by when will he be out of this hopefully he should be stable by tonight he can rejoin us maybe he might not be able to fly for a couple of days because there's a possibility of other things going on considering it's a head injury so we'll, we'll see well, a head injury yeah because it's a head injury here and he's got a big knock you know we just need to clear concussion and a few things like that thanks very much for talking to us and thank you for the update so there you have it Riley Russo has a bit of a head injury so we have to wait and find out how that one pans out back to you guys thank you well, good news from that front, good news under the circumstances. Dilshan oh! just getting through a few overs here, a few yeah, balls. Yeah. Dot balls have been so, so few in these innings. the Royals need to realize from here that they don't really have to force the pace they need 45 in 79 balls if they get them in 40 balls or 50 balls it's still going to be a very good net run rate all they've got to do is knock it around and not create too much excitement they've already done the hard part two for 79 
123 for four bus now here at Cricket Dundee's. Needed to show a lot more intent in building that innings. But Rune Royals are showing that intent. Rangana Herat for his second spell. Been very good, Jamshed. Got a few unorthodox shots. Likes to go with the long side. Anywhere between long on and square leg. It's more a pickup shot that he plays. Playing his first game about Charlie Karunanayaka in this tournament. A powerful hitter. Could be a run out here. Bielder taking a while to get that throw back in. Ishara Amara Singha at short fine leg. Goes over the top. He hasn't got all of it. There's a fielder. The long off boundary who obliges. And this is just what I was talking about, Russell. They're way ahead of the game. These shots aren't necessary. They're just putting on due pressure on themselves. Karanaka didn't have to play this shot. Didn't get in position to play it. Didn't get enough bat on it. And he's just holed out at long off. Totally unnecessary. But now the wicket goes down. He goes for one. Three for 80. Daniel Harris goes straight to the non-striker's end. An experienced T20 campaigner with a healthy strike rate. Can do a bit of damage. Oh! Yeah! Dilshan in from short mid wicket, but cannot throw the stumps down. Here's the dismissal. Trying to go over long off. Nice, comfortable catch in the end. Roshan Jalil, the substitute fielder. Just running around there, picking up a very good catch. He looks young, Russell. Very young. He certainly is. A Shah Rukh Khan fan. <laughs> Hit right in front. Not yet. No confirmation from the umpire. Sliding down the leg side, I would think. Ball's not bouncing a lot. This one just continued on with the arm. Good decision. Now, Karuna Nayaka was promoted to go after the bowling. Hence, Perish trying to do his job. Rangana Herat conceding just the two runs. 81 for three. Denny Myung player of the award tournament for this award goes out to young Sri Lankan players excelling in this tournament the contenders so far he threw one with Anage oh! and the two others we just showed you Akila Dananja and 
Ilshan Munawira being recognized already by being picked in the T20 World Cup squad of Sri Lanka. Youngsters to look out for, and here is a stage for them to showcase their talents. For many to take note of what they can do. It's a very good fielder, Jalil. Did see him pick up a direct hit run out up in Candy. Silva's having a ball. Found a part in two. <laughs> Very clever operator, Tilakrat Nadilshan. He's taking the pace off the ball, just mixing it up. Not only mixing up the pace, but also his line and length. Just making it so difficult. For batsman to pick him up. Royals making really heavy weather of what should be a pretty simple exercise. Plus two unnecessary wickets. Again, as you see, a lot of spinners do. They pause on that delivery stride and just look to see what move the batsman makes. No hurry at all. Trying to break that batsman's rhythm, Tilkrat Nadil Shan. And that's experience for you. At the end of nine, it's 83 for three. The Runa Royals worm has finally felt a little lonely and has turned towards the Basnahira Cricket Dundee's worm. Again, hitting him low on the pad. Very important game for the Runa Royals. Try and give, them a, give themselves a chance to qualify, but... For these two teams, Kandarata Warriors and U are next. Who will be playing next in about an hour and a half time. It will be more a do or die battle. Kandarata Warriors need the win. Who are next, of course, have two games up their sleeve. Need one win to qualify. Will be two cut off in the deep. This is what they need to do, just to find the gaps, just to pick the pick the bowlers off. No need to do anything extravagant. He's really having a big problem with that delivery coming into him is Dan Harris. He's just not picking up the line. He's playing down the wrong line, not allowing for the angle coming in. Run out at the keeper's end. Uh, opts to go to the bowler's end, Rangana Herat. But suddenly this pitch seems all so difficult. The opening batsmen were just carving the bowlers apart. And now, struggling to even find a single. I 
think it's the spinners that have pulled it back a bit. Still got, it's still way ahead in this game are the Royals. And they'll get a single here with a sloppy fielding from Herat to his own bowling. And at the end of 10, it's three for 87. Thirty-seven to win off sixty balls. Take you through the next five overs. The commentary box is Dean Jones and Jeff Moss. Thanks, Russell. Yeah, nice time to actually watch two really good batsmen going for it here. James Shedd, thirty-three from twenty-five. Harris needs to get going a little bit here at uh, four from ten balls, and they need to get a really good win here. A real strong, solid win to get their net run rate up. And if they did that, they've got to win their last game again with a solid performance. And I think they might have a chance of making the final four. So I like the way for extra got Oh, they nearly collided in the middle of the pitch there. Not the best of running between the wickets. Oh, I said the batsman must run on the right side, not the... Watch, look at get out of the way! Whoa. Yeah, you wonder how that happens sometimes. Uh, we've seen some ordinary running, uh, usually caused by both batsmen watching the ball, but that wasn't happening then. He's very good, Jan Shed. I, I, I've seen him play for Chittagong Kings, and he had a wonderful Bangladesh Premier League, and now he's starting to get going here now. Yeah, he's played some uh, strong shots, that's for sure. They know. He's just given himself a bit of room, hasn't he, to hit this one. It's the dart, too, from Dilshan, and it's got whacked down the ground. Quick single, no. The call, they should have got one, really. Had enough on the bat, on the pad to get that away for one. Just changed it up there, Dilshan, but he knows he's under attack here from Jamshed. 37 for 27 balls. Hey. There's an easy one there, and what Dan Harris is doing. That's a better delivery. He's just trying to cramp him there so he can't uh, get those strong arms swinging. So they're going on pretty easily here, the Royals. Down the ground, I'll get one end of the over, eight runs from it, it's 95 for three. The Royals they require 29 from 54 balls, but they know they know they need to get a wriggle on here. They need it's all about net run rate. So much about wickets here. Now Harris. No, he's a quick call there. And I tell you what, I've been most impressed with James Shed for a few reasons. I suppose I'm a little bit loyal to my coach him in the Bangladesh Premier League, Jeff, but I reckon he should be opening the batting for Pakistan in the World Cup. I find him a good hitter. Oh, Balding. In, as in comparison to Harris, who hasn't been. No, he struggled, and the Harris out there in Jamshed's cruise. Harris just couldn't get uh, a handle on the pace of this pitch. This was a good ball. He hung it back, and Harris was uh, trying to do the little dab down to third man. Just slower. 
Does it spin a little, this one? But it's just a slower delivery. I don't know how he's missed that one. And uh, he, he did really struggle, and it's 95 for four. Whippy through Mick Wicket looking for two. Yes, no, yes, no. Now, on. What did this do? Let's have a little look. Oh, it did turn a little bit. He can't believe it. Let's have a look here. Oh, it's a Jaffa. Yeah, it's a pretty good ball, but he should have still got some bat on it. Yeah, he tried a little ramp it down the third man. Tomo, not much misses your eye. They had good revolutions on that ball. You, you watched the guy the pitch and the seam was really good and it's obviously hit on that, just bit and straight and uh, just just good ball. You miss, I hit. That's uh, the way her raft works. Oh, good. He's looking to hit it down the ground. Now, normally if this was early in the tournament, they'll be looking just to work it around, and have a bit of a netty and get these runs easily. But they need to get these runs in a hurry. Bit of money is the new man. It's a struggle to get him in. Uh, the Harath goes through his balls pretty quickly. Ah! Oh, there's a shout, but not from the bowler. It'll be an extra buy there. It'll be 98 for four. There's the points table here. As you can see, the net run rate. They win this game, the Royals. They go to four points, and of course, they have to win their next game very, very well. But they can get above the Nagas, who've got a shocking run rate of minus 0.47. So it's all about getting these runs quickly. Not so much about wickets, it's about runs. Well, fielded there. Bit difficult there, almost a bit, because he's on the new pitch there, Sarasinghe. Yeah, what Dean Jones means there, it's uh, hard work on that. You land on there, you get scrapes on your elbows and different areas. Oh, good shot over extra cover. That should run away for four, and it does. So uh, Jamshed doing the business as usual. Three, four, three, sixes to his name. Well, not a good delivery, was it? Over pitch. the call there uh, I just what's the eyes of jams here watching watching the ball right onto the bat that's the key really watch it right onto the bat well, what that's a, his secret what about the ball following he's saying no the other guy was halfway out the pitch it was his call he wants to get a piece of mr. Dulshan that's why oh there should have been two there Hey, the running between the wickets. Java, me and Dad needs a little talk to some of the Pakistani boys because there have been some poor running that I've seen by the Pakistanis in the Sri Lankan Premier League. I know he's part of the head coaching tournament director or whatever he is over in Pakistan, but they, they need to work on their running. Running the first one hard, like they did then, and still turn wide and, and given out. Well, there you go. There's the running. He's given him out.
You're a magician, Dino. Everything you mention happens. Just let's have a little look here. Oh, that's not out. Let's have a look at the umpire there. I thought he gave him out from my angle. Oh, he must have gave the square. Sorry, it's these four eyes I'm wearing. But anyway, he's made it there. But I tell you what, the running is just poor. The bad turns, everything. That was casual, wasn't it? That's what you're saying. It was just a stroll in the park and nearly, nearly caused his wicket. He had the heart in his mouth, don't worry. That's it. Oh, you, you can feel the run out every over. It's as if Inzaman all Huck is out there. End of the over, 106 for four. Jamshed and Tiramani, good little partnership, 11 from 10. And here he hoiks it away to big wicket. Just a matter of when they can get these runs now. 17 from 41 balls. Yeah, he just got that one a bit too square, didn't he? There's a, there's a gap out there between mid-on and mid-wicket for the left-hander. Well, both left-handers anyway. You've got to hit it good. Big single there, Riyad Mamadula. These two were teammates in the Bangladesh Premier League. A look for at, maybe at least one. Been some good performances here, and of course the best performance, uh, best performing player in the man of the series will get the Mahindra XUV500. Very good SUV, put your golf clubs and all your shopping in the back, throw your kids in the back as well. Very good car, good on the fuel. And of course, uh, and of course, one of the lucky spectators will get an opportunity to get one of those Mahindra scooters of course they have to get uh, placards of fours and sixes and have a unique number at the side of it and at the end of the session of the match we'll draw one out and a lucky spectator will win one of those very good color that bike and it's a lovely metallic green and the, uh, the Mahindra car two lovely prizes Especially the uh, second one, the bike, it's just for turning up, something for nothing. Hoiks the way, so much you catch it. Mama Dula's going after it, he won't get there. Perfect placement, and they're running too. I oh, hit him, hit him, and now, oh, well, it's all happening. Oh, Mama Dula, he's uh, tried to haul this one in, and that's the over gone, 112 for four. And it looks like it'll be the strategic timeout.
Well, the strategic timeout's just been taken and NASA Jam Chick would add a nice little glass of water and be pretty happy with his performance. 47 from 36 balls, a nice little 28 from 14 from Aaron Finch, but the rest of them really haven't added too much. Tura Money, Rambuk Vela, Joe Wadena yet to come. Well, I don't think get much of a go either. Dino, uh, I just wonder what uh, Bash Nahira would have said in that strategic timeout. There wouldn't have been much they could have said. Just hope for the best because they just need 12 from 36 deliveries. Is the equation? Gonna Tilly K is on now. Ah. Right arm off spinner. Hasn't bowled yet. Bowling to Turamani. In the air. I'll get one. Trust me. He'd be looking for 50, Jam Shed. And he liked to do it on one hit. But like you say, a bit of urgency uh, as much as they only need 11. They'd like to get them quickly, I'd, I'd have thought. He was winding up there, looking to hit it over extra cover. Just a youngster, Jam Shed, only about 22 years of age. Picked in the Pakistani World Cup squad. There it is there. That should be at least two. Go, you you at won, least two. Won. And they're running. Oh, good throw. Could have got him in a lot of trouble. But so he goes to 49. Yeah, it's a long way out there. Borges was the thrower. It's uh, quite a big boundary. He had to get it back from. So they, uh, well, made the two fairly comfortably. Very full. Well, he's bowled three Yorkers out of four, basically. Just notice how he clears his right leg here so he can get his bat through. Oh. <laughs> We've seen that happen, happen a lot throughout this Mahindra Sri Lanka Premier League. It must be the sweat in the hands or something. I saw Alan Porter hit one of those for four in a test match, if I remember, <laughs> Guyana. Comes in there and hits his leg. That's nearly snuck through. Another good Yorker. Yeah, he's got him on the spot. All a little too late. I can tell by the body language of Jamshed, he's just a bit annoyed with this bowler. He wants to hurt him. Good 50, though. Very nice 50 indeed from just 41 balls. End of the over, four runs from it. It's 116 for four. Very good 50 to Nasser Jamshed, his first one for the tournament, 41 balls. And the last rights have been read at this game here, with the Royals need eight from 30 balls, and he'd be looking to finish it over. As you can see, he can hit them all over the place, mainly dominant on the leg side. That's a normal wagon wheel for him. Pulls it away for one. Well, he gets good bat speed on it, doesn't he? You know, uh, back foot there, really quick to snap that bat through. Strong hitter, he's strong build as well. Hey. Here's a catch, and it's pretty easy. He'd be disappointed with that to her money. And it's a pretty soft dismissal indeed. Rio Marmadula picks up his second wicket. Well, a good piece of bowling. Marmadula holds this one back. Just dropped short on him there. He's tried to smack him the distance down the ground, and all he did was get a thick edge to a uh, backward point. So Marmadula gets a wicket, and the fifth wicket down, and it's 117.
Wahab Riaz comes to the crease now. And yeah, good stock rate, 131. Got some got some runs, handy runs down the tail. What you want? Well, he's tried to get him in uh, one hit. And uh, Riaz is in there because of this. He tried to clear the pickets, and all he did was succeed in slicing it about 15 metres. Did you pick the Duzra? It was the Duzra. Well, he held it back, mate. And there should be another one. He's got three. Well, they couldn't lose it from here, could they, when they need seven from 27? Well, Riaz, he's tried to hoik it all too quick. It just didn't uh, wait to have a little look. I know there's, uh, as we said before, he'd, uh, he just wanted to get this over and done with quickly, but he just got to have one ball at least to look at him. Just stopped on him. This pitch is slow when you hold him back, and, uh, well, that did the damage. Another one out court, 117 for six. Well, they'll get one there. So now they only need six from 25 balls here. One hit, and Mr. Jamshed will no doubt will be lining something up here. He can pick the Duzra on most occasions. Tosses this up. He might go down and try and put it over the bowler's head here. Well, he hit it in that direction anyway. End of the over. Just two runs from it with two wickets. 118 for six. Okay, the Royals need six runs from 24 balls. I'd like to get it over and done in a hurry here to help their net run rate. All over the top of point, and then a run away for four. That's exactly what they needed. Now they needed two, and this will really help their net run rate. Be walked up to them before this match started, and so you'll we'll beat them with three overs to spare. You take it. Yes, uh, good agility there. Just a little bit of wit there, and just got hammered through point. There is a point man out there, but no chance for that one. And that leaves the last. It's from Pereira to give it to Nasser Jamshed, or as the players call him, The Shed. The Shed, he is a bit of a unit, doesn't he? And he knows how to get a knot out as well. Don't worry about that. Okay, so bringing all the field in. Try and stop this one run. Successful on that occasion. Trust me, he'd be looking to go over the top here. They're all shaking hands already. This game's well and truly over. Knows how to bolt. Nice full deliveries, this lad. Yeah, he's good at the dart Yorkers, isn't he? Ah! Another one. So no ball, and that should be it. So there it is. It's a big, big win there for the Royals. Finally get a good, concisive, emphatic victory to the Rahuna Royals. And Wacko Eunice, their coach, would be absolutely thrilled. Yeah, they deserved it. Um, 
to come out uh, from the start. Bash the hero won the toss and decided to bat, and it just never happened for them. They never got on with it with the bat. The early wickets, they were slow. They were hard to to uh, score. The Rahuna Royals bowled tight, uh, really put the squeeze on them, and that. And uh, it, it was just a difficult time for them with the bat. And then in uh, reply, the Rahuna Royals have come out and uh, just mowed down their total with uh, three and a bit overs to spare. So do still Sean, he'll be disappointed. The, uh, they've only got the one win in the games they've had so far. And uh, he himself, he scored some runs, but uh, he's got wickets as well. But it's been a, a bit of a one-man performance. Oh, there it is, Jam Shed. 51 from 46 balls played beautifully, as did Finch. They got off to a flyer, really, and that's what set up the whole victory itself. 28 from 14. A couple little cameos here and there, but really it's the top two boys that did the damage, and they finished with 124 for six. And, Roshan, I believe you have a happy coach down there. Indeed, indeed, I have a very happy coach because Runa Royals have got back to winning ways. Waka, you should be happy. Well, kind of. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm very, very happy because we, we played some poor cricket in the, in the recent past. Uh, well, yeah, we, we're happy that we won this one and uh, we got another game. And hopefully, if we can uh, you know, sneak into the semi-final, you, know, you never know. I think uh, the semi-final situation means it's, it's slightly out of your hand, isn't it? Because you've got to win the next game and you've got to expect somebody else to lose. Well, that's what happens 2020 because it's so fast and things happen so quickly that you don't really know where, where we're going to stand. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to make sure that uh, we win tomorrow and uh, let's hope for the best. Yeah, very quickly, Waka, how do you see the SLPL? Oh, it's been good, I think. Uh, uh, it's the first year, so one got to understand that it's, it's something, something new. Hopefully, you know, next year will be a different story. All right, good luck with Runa Royals. Thanks very much. Well, that's it from down here. Thanks very much, Russia. I know the rain's just starting to fall here at uh, Premadasa Stadium here, and here's the bowlers here. Two for 16 for Herrick. Bowled very, very well indeed. Mamadula, well, he, he parachuted in with a three wickets there, three for 30, and Dilshan there, a one for 20. And the match summary, there we have it. Bash Nahira batting, uh, just getting 123 for four. Not much excitement there. Rousseau retired hurt for 31, batted quite well in Borges. The rest didn't do much. And then the Rohino Royals, as Dean Jones said, Jamshed hit a very good 51, not out. And uh, Marmadula in the opposition, three for 30, cleaned up with some wickets at the end. Well, let's have a look at the points table here. Wayamba, they're through, no problem there with their eight, uh, with their eight points, four wins. Kandarada, they've got a very good net run rate of six. Uber, who have to play in the next game, of course, with six points here. But Rohuna, they go to four points. Now, look at their net run rate. It's way better than Nugget here at uh, Nagas. It's got right up in there. They need another wing with another emphatic victory like they got tonight. And I reckon they might just sneak through. So there you have it there. Um, so Wayamba on top as the rain just belts down here at Premadasa. And we hopefully might have the presentation after the break. And they might be wearing flippers and goggles. Sri Lanka Premier League.
Mahindra, Sri Lanka Premier League. Welcome back. As you can see with our spider cam, it's got a big umbrella over the top. It is belting, raining cats and dogs here at Palikati Stadium here in Colombo. And of course, we've got another match to follow if we can here tonight with Kandarata Warriors versus Uva next. Now, let's just have a look at the points table as it stands. And Kandarata and Uva, who on six points now, if they get washed out, they will get an extra point and they will go to seven. And that leaves Nagana Heroes. Naga's there, and they're under a lot of pressure from the Rahuna Royals, who happens if they get a win in their next game, might just push them as well. But let's not forget that Nagana Hira have another game as well. If they win their next game, or they'll go to eight points. So we want this rain to subside and go away. They're pretty good, the, the guys here, the groundsmen. They, they have a wonderful capacity to get all these wonderful co covers out there that covers the whole ground and they can get the water off pretty quickly. And let's not forget, you only need five overs each side in the match for this Mahindra Sri Lanka Premier League. Well, we saw one, so lot, lots of wonderful performances and one performance here, Nasser Jamshed. He's a very strong lad. Let's have a look at his 50 here. Very strong on the leg side. He can hoik it away of mid on and mid wicket there. And he's very strong down the ground. Look at that bottom hand. He can side the way through extra cover. And that was a fine 50 from 46 balls, three sixes, and three fours. It's a pretty good performance there by the Royals. They needed that to have any chance of making the four. And Aaron Finch, good to see him get some runs early. Took a bit of pressure off Jamshed early. And those two boys, Jamshed and Finch, just about really got them across the line there. And put Basna Hero to sleep, really. 124 for six. And they got those with... 20 balls to spare. So there were lots of rain falling here. They're trying to get our presentation going, but it's pretty hard to do it in the rain, as you know. And it's pretty hard for the teams, Kandarata Warriors and Uber next to get themselves right for this next match because we need to get a lot of water off those covers. As you can see, it's starting to pull up. So don't go away. Well, hopefully we'll have some something more to say straight after the break. Mahindra, Sri Lanka Premier League. Check one, two, three, four, five, six. Check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Naveen sir, Nana Naveen sir. Check one, two, one. Check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, so what do we do? We go without it. Check, sir, check, sir. We are, we are doing uh, like, uh, what? Walking. I can't share him also. What, what's happening?
Mahindra Sri Lanka Premier League. It's still belting down here at Pelikali Stadium. We're trying to get the next match up for you. Kandarata Warriors versus Uber next. But let's go down to Roshan Abasinghi with the after match presentation. A very good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the presentation. Yes, I know it's raining, but we have been sheltered, thankfully, and we are ready to go ahead with the presentation of the Basna Hira Cricket Dandi versus Ruhuna Royals game of the Mahindra SLPL. Let me start off by introducing the presentation party. Mandar Warkak, the Senior General Manager, Group Strategy Office, Mahindra and Mahindra Limited, who will be giving away the Man of the Match Award. Raj Kumar Bansal of Rune Royals, Mr. Lalit Ramukwala, member of the Executive Committee of Sri Lanka Cricket, and Mr. Aruna Gunwardana, Vice President, Gold District Cricket Association. May I start off by inviting the losing captain, Tilakratha Dilshan, to have a few words with us. Bad luck. Uh, not the best way to win the tournament. Yeah, definitely we didn't play well, uh, except first match. Then after that we didn't play good cricket. Uh, I think it's other teams deserving to uh, come uh, first uh, four or five uh, places. Uh, overall, uh, all three departments we didn't uh, really badly uh, we uh, perform uh, batting, bowling, fielding. I think uh, that's why we out of the tournament. Uh, I think uh, we had a lot of area to improve uh, uh, next year. Any reason uh, after you started so brilliantly, you batted brilliantly, your side won so well, but what really went wrong? I think it's after the first few, few games, uh, one of the seniors uh, guy to have a tell you uh, from the personal matter, the hope bad out. That's a big, big loss for us. Then after that, I got a sick uh, last uh, three matches. I played a really bad uh, uh, situation. I'm not 100% fit. All the uh, team members uh, getting that uh, flu the, throughout the tournament. Then the thing is, when you're losing, uh, the, especially 2020, very difficult to get back to the momentum. Uh, that's uh, we start losing, uh, very difficult to come back. Uh, I think that's uh, uh, 2020 is going. going. I think is uh, I can say this is a wonderful tournament for the uh, our, our youngsters. They can uh, I think still they learn a lot. Uh, I think next year we can uh, improve this tournament uh, uh, like first year. They're fantastic for the uh, our uh, future cricket. By the way, are you feeling all right now? Still not 100 percent, but uh, I had to rest a couple of uh, days, then get ready for before the World Cup. I had to fit 100 uh, percent. This is the biggest tournament is coming uh, another couple of weeks time. I had to get fit. Uh, I, the Sri Lankan team need my 100 percent uh, all uh, three departments. Bad luck today. Get well soon. Thank you very much. Well, Tilakratha Dilshan, the losing captain of Basna Hira. Now let me invite the winning captain, Lasit Malinga of Rohnu Royals. Well done, Lasith. You must be very happy that uh, Rune Royals have won again. Yeah, I think it's, uh, I'm very happy <coughs> for the bowling part and batting part. is doing very well. I think uh, looking forward to next match. What about uh, what happens now? You win the next match and then you have to expect somebody to lose to get into the semi-final? I don't think about that. thing is I, I need to play group cricket and play the next game also win and finish it off. We can't control the weather and we can't control the point table. We can't control, but we have to play good cricket. Then wait and see what's going on. That's it. Perfectly right. Uh, were you worried when you were fielding first? Uh, not but worried, but the thing is, uh, I lost it, uh, three in a row in the toss. But we are always looking for the bad person, the good figure to bat. But it doesn't matter, we bowl is, we, I think my, our bowling part is very good. Then we struck the 120, then we cheers easily. All right, Lasit, all the best for tomorrow. Thank you very much. Lasit Malinga, the captain of Runa Royals, the winners today. And now, ladies and gentlemen, may I now invite the man of the match, the Mahindra man of the match, Nasir Jamshed. He will collect his award from Mandar Wartak. Nasir would like to have a word with us. Many congratulations, very well played. Thank you so much. I really enjoy my batting uh, because it's a little bit uh, pressure for me because it's a second second game for me, but I really enjoy it. Tell me, how, how did it help you with a big series coming up against Australia and the T20 World Cup? How has the SLPL helped you? Uh, it's a great help for us uh, for us because uh, now the next World Cup is here and I, I know about that this condition is a little, little, little bit difficult, but I, I think it's better for the all, all the players to, to play this condition. Have you enjoyed playing in Sri Lanka in the SLPL? Yeah, I really enjoy it. Great fun and hopefully next year maybe I will come again. Thank you for the enjoyment with your batting. Well thanks, done. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Well, that's the man of the match, Nasir Jamshed. And that's it from the presentation area.
Thanks very much, Rush. Yeah, good support there by NASA. It was very well played by NASA. Jam Sharon, very good knock indeed. But uh, coming up next is the Kandarata Warriors versus Uva next. And we've got a lot of rain and water on these covers. And hopefully to get a match here, we need to get five overs in each. And uh, as the run, rain is just belting down here, we'll hopefully have some news for you after the break.